Welcome! In this video clip, we will look at the multiplication strategy called doubling and halving. In order for students to be successful with this strategy, they must first understand how to mentally double and halve numbers. It may also be helpful for students to have had some prior experiences creating arrays to find factors, possibly with tiles or graph paper. This is a fairly complex multiplication strategy and should be taught toward the end of your multiplication unit after teaching several other strategies such as repeated addition, skip counting, making landmark or friendly numbers, or partial products. This strategy will primarily be seen in grades 3 through 5. This strategy directly relates to computational fluency standards asking students to use their knowledge of numbers and number relationships to multiply fluently. The doubling and halving strategy teaches students that the product of two factors does not change if one factor is doubled and the other factor is halved. Once students recognize this, they can use the strategy to identify different factors to create a simpler problem. This strategy is most useful when multiplying two-digit numbers. When introducing this strategy, it is best to start with very simple one-digit examples so students can easily see the number relationships. Students should first cut an array out of grid paper and physically double and halve the array to demonstrate the strategy. For example, here is a model of an 8 by 6 array. If I halve the 8 and double the 6, it becomes a 4 by 12 array. If I do it again, I can make a 2 by 24 array. Then a 1 by 48 array. Having students explore the arrays helps them make sense of the strategy. Soon students will be able to move to recording each step on whiteboards to keep track of the doubling and halving. Eventually the boards can be removed and students will be able to mentally compute the problem. Now I will model introducing the doubling and halving strategy to students. Boys and girls, when we multiply numbers, we use strategies to help us create simpler problems to solve mentally. One strategy we can use is doubling and halving. When we double a number, we multiply it by 2. When we halve a number, we divide it by 2. Let's begin with a simple problem. If I multiply 4 times 14, I can first halve the 4 to make 2 and double the 14 to make 28. 2 times 28 is 56. This strategy is especially helpful when mentally multiplying larger numbers. For example, if I wanted to multiply 14 times 16, I could double the 14 to make 28 and have the 16 to make 8. Now I have the problem 28 times 8. If I double the 28, it becomes 56. If I have the 8, it becomes 4. Now I have the problem 56 times 4. If I double the 56, it becomes 112. If I have the 4, it becomes 2. Now I have the problem 112 times 2. I can now multiply 112 times 2 to find a product of 224. I could also double and have again to find the product of 224 times 1. In this example, I doubled and have several times to find a simpler problem. Sometimes I may only have to double and half once to find that simple problem. For instance, if I want to use the doubling and halving strategy to multiply 12 times 15, I could have the 12 to make 6 and double the 15 to make 30. Six times 30 is a much easier problem to solve then 12 times 15, yet the product is still 180. 
Let's try one last problem. What if I wanted to multiply 18 times 25? I could first have the 18 to make 9 and double the 25 to make 50. Which is an e now I have 9 times 50, which is an easier problem to solve. Although I have different factors, the product remains 450. The doubling and halving strategy is meant to be a mental math strategy. However, when initially introducing the strategy, it will be helpful for students to have access to graph paper, dry erase boards, and markers for recording their thinking and to help students visualize how the strategy works.